I like that Mushroom Kingdom. That could be cool. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Mario! Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. If you could hang out with your characters in real life for a day, what would you do? Hmm. I go overall shopping. I said, where do you guys get these overalls? <laughs> Let's go. I want to sit down and have a meal with their family. That seems yeah, like it'd be really fun and exciting, yeah. like to sit down and just hear them all go back and forth. That would be cool. Also, if they didn't mind, I got a couple of plumbing issues at my house. Yeah. Like, just come on. That'd be just, helpful. Just look at this. Why is this? Why yeah. is the flush? so weak on this toilet. Can yeah. We... <laughs> I'd ride motorcycles with her. I think that would be so much fun. I'd be like, let's go. <laughs> let's go on the PCH and just like drive forever. <laughs> we go! I would throw some barrels at some Italians. <laughs> just live, live the dream. <laughs> Any dude in a mustache and overalls, I'd, I'd toss a barrel at his head. <laughs> I would ask Toad what he would want, but he would probably say, I don't care, whatever you want to do. Maybe I'd take Toad to Central Park. Um, he could visit some other toadstools. Do not touch that mushroom, you'll die! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that one's perfectly fine. Bowser, we would definitely go rocking. We would go check out, you know, some concerts together. Bowser could be a great uh, friend to have if you're in a heavy metal band. Can you imagine if Bowser came out on stage? You wouldn't need to have a pyro budget. You just say, dude, blow a fireball right at the end of this massively rocking song. I know we'd love to have him on stage for Tenacious D. If Bowser and Tenacious D sang a song together, what song would it be? The Mob Rules is a song that comes to mind. I would just jump on Bowser's back, get that piggyback ride, that dragon back ride, rather. Is this print? Because this is not going to translate to... No, it's video. Okay, oh, it's good. video. Now who's going to stop me? In what ways do you relate to your character? Toad and I both are up for an adventure. I, I, I am always like, if someone says, hey, I was planning on going and doing this thing. Do you have free time? I'm like, I'm in. I'm in. And I, I don't I'll often have to ask what it is. I'll just go ahead and do it and then just figure out what the experience is gonna be later. The thing is, all you gotta do is get up and go. If you get up and go, you're, you're, you're in for something special. You just gotta go with the flow. And I feel like Toad's a real go with the flow kind of guy. Come on, Mario! Our big adventure begins now! He's very full of himself due to the fame and attention he gets. I heavily relate to that. Um, but he really just wants his father's attention. I heavily relate to that. Um, and he hates Mario. I have no. I, I actually like Mario, so I don't. I don't relate to that. <laughs> I, I think there's a certain level of of ambition there. Wanting to please my father was a big part of my life. <laughs> sure. Just like I Mario. The, I have the loyalty thing, you know. Yeah. Like, uh, the, they got that Luigi loyalty. I piece yeah. of that. You. But uh, you know, there's a bit of like Mario go get him in me as well. Yeah. Which Luigi doesn't quite have. Right. But. Eh. I think we're both kind of more like Mario. Yeah, maybe that's true. I'm not afraid. I'll do anything for my brother. Which kingdom in the Mario universe would you love to live in? Oh, oh very it's good so question. good. There's so many. I mean, you really go through, uh, not the Mushroom Kingdom. Probably no. the Jungle Kingdom for me. Uh, With all the apes and I the- I might like that Mushroom Kingdom. That could be cool. Yeah. <laughs> What is this place? I mean, you can't beat Bowser's ship. He's got an incredible craft. It's filled with gargoyles carved out of stone, uh, bubbling lava. It's the most heavy metal, obviously, of all of the, all of the, the locations. But as we know, Bowser covets uh, the Mushroom Kingdom. And I guess so do I. It's just a gorgeous kingdom. I'll say the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> Interpret that how you will. <laughs> this is fun! I wouldn't mind living in the uh, Cranky Kong, Donkey Kong uh, kingdom. I love I love the Kong kingdom. I think it's really cool. I mean, Mushroom, I'm, I'm partial to the Mushroom Kingdom, obviously, but um, but there's something cool about how lush and beautiful it is and the hanging, I just, the, the, I would, I would love to live there. I'd love to live on the Rainbow Road. I think that that's so beautiful. I know it's not technically a destination, but that sequence is my favorite sequence in the movie. I love it. I'm slightly embarrassed because I think it tells you something about my transient like life. I'm like, I don't want to live in one place. I want to be on the road. <laughs> <laughs>
If you were designing a custom car like in the film, what would it look like? Ooh, it'd be a motorcycle. It would be green and purple, I think. And it would have it would have a kite. It would be able to fly 100%. Mine would look more like uh, Donkey Kongs. You know, big old wheels. You know, I'd go for like the, the stomper Bigfoot look, you know what I mean? Unlimited shells on mine to just throw mm. at everybody. Just Ooh. unlimited, just shells everywhere. <laughs> It'd look a lot like a Lamborghini, just because ever since I was a little kid, I, I, I loved the Lamborghini uh, style and power. In particular, the uh, Lamborghini, Lamborghini Countach. Quite a Lamborghini Countach. It feels almost pornographic to say it for some reason. I'm never gonna say it again now that I mention it. I'd have uh, lowered rims, hydraulics, ones that can do that three wheel thing from the Snoop Dogg video. That'd be my, uh, that'd be my cart. <laughs> Let's just stick with Lambo. It's gonna look a lot like a Lambo. I think probably now I'm gonna go forest green Lambo. Doesn't that sound delicious? Now that's a cart I can get behind. Which co-star do you think you could beat in Mario Kart? Here's the thing, I'm very determined, but I do not have great eye-thumb coordination. That circuit has not been created for me. So I can nearly guarantee you that everyone would beat me the first time, but where I am different is that I will not let go. So if we play once and I lose, I will play you until I win. <laughs> no pressure. Oh, I'm not sure I could beat any of my co-stars in Mario Kart. I've, play, I've played them, actually. I've played them a few times, and I always, <laughs> I've always come in last. Oh my god, okay. I think we could all beat Keegan. Yeah, that's Didn't right. He, he came in last every yeah, single time. I think time. he came in last every single time, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Woohoo! Charlie Day. I think I did beat Charlie Day already at Mario Kart, so yeah. I think definitively the answer is Charlie Day. <laughs> yes! Fire! <laughs> Jack is amazing. I'll tell you who can't beat Jack Black. We can't get that Jack Black. He is it's his uh, world, we're just living in it. Yeah, he's a gamer for sure. We will destroy the Mushroom Kingdom! Which co star was most fun to beat? Chris Pratt. Because <laughs> he's competitive, he likes to win, so when he loses, uh, there are tears, and it feels extra good. You want to beat someone who cares. You know what I mean? Oh, it's yeah. no fun to beat someone who doesn't have any stake in the game. You know what I mean? Now who's gonna stop me? 